Hi, a very warm welcome to Shendran's Engineering Tutorials. It's a topic from Operational Amplifiers. That topic which cannot be neglected and uh, which will be incomplete if not discussed. Uh, the representation, the circuit symbol of an operational amplifier here, it's like this, isn't it? It's uh, We have a symbol like this, two inputs and an output across which we collect the output. One of the terminal being inverting and another one being non-inverting generally majority of application this will be grounded or uh, connected according to the need okay and a small change in no resistors no resistors around the circuit only uh, this no inverting terminal is directly connected to the output so what happens with this one here for supposing other than ground we have some input voltage like uh, we have v in let's suppose v in over here and uh, uh, linking up with the previous discussion let this be node a and let this be node b uh, v a is equal to v in isn't it v in and according to virtual ground concept that voltage across here the same voltage will be on either side of the operational amplifier so v b is equal to v b so VB is also at V in. The same V in will be appearing at V naught. Directly connected, isn't it? No attenuation, no resistor, no capacitor, the direct connection. So here we have V in. The same amount of V in will be appearing over here according to the uh, virtual ground concept. And the same V in can be seen at the output. So V naught will be equal to V in simply. So what this equation says, what that equation says, that equation, what conclusion should be made from that equation? V0 is simply V in. Output is following the input voltage. And so this configuration is known as a voltage follower. Output voltage is simply following the input voltage. So that's the name. And a buffer amplifier, why the name, how the name is justified? Considering a simple circuit like this one. For example, we have a circuit like here. We have a V in over here, grounded and driving a low resistance like this and uh, the internal resistance of the source cannot be neglected so let that be here let that be rs rs and what if the load the values are like this one this is at uh, 200 the internal resistance of the source being 200 kilo ohms for supposing and rl being 2 kilo ohm what if this situation arises here v naught will be equal to output is collected across here v naught from this point to v naught according to potential divider rule what will be v naught v naught is equal to input voltage v in into 2k 2 kilo ohm upon the total resistance isn't it so 200 plus 2 it's a 202 kilo ohm 202 so what will be v naught from that equation v naught will be equal to guys how much the what will be this value approximately equal to 0 0.0099 so v in in the sense this will be approximately 0 0.01 times v in a severe attenuation here a severe attenuation which, which is a disadvantage in some applications so we have to eliminate this one by making use of this circuit. What if this circuit is introduced over here like this one? We have the same V in here. I'm drawing the picture again. We have the same V in over here. Okay. And uh, the source resistance RS over here. And this end is connected to that one. Let the arrangement be like this here. And uh, minus over here. And the low resistance is connected over here, grounded. We are connecting V0 over here. And this terminal is directly connected to this one. The same as it is. is we, have, we are introducing that voltage follower in between that one. So well, let's link up this arrangement discussion to the virtual ground concept here. Uh, in this case, it should give rise to a current I which flows through this, uh, this loop input. And uh, the input impedance of the operational amplifier is very high. And so we cannot find any current through this one, which very little current, which can be neglected I, no current through the operational amplifier. So in the sense, come back, come back a little backward. No current through the resistor also. So no current through the resistor in the sense, 
the voltage drop on either side of the resistors are equal we have v in on this side the same v in will be appearing over here v in the same v in because no current through the resistor source resistance in the sense uh, this v in is appearing over here and now according to virtual ground concept what should we have if this is node a and if this is node b v a should be equal to v b should be equal to v in isn't it according to virtual ground concept whatever voltage is over here the same voltage will be appearing over here now this terminal is directly connected to v naught in the sense v naught will be equal to v in now in this case no attenuation in the sense almost attenuation is eliminated by making use of this one this now this in this case it's known as a buffer amplifier right in this case this attenuation is known as loading effect we are eliminating the loading effect by making use of a voltage follower please make an you make a note of this one a lot of discussions to be seen ahead which is very much linked up with the uh, many circuits are linked up with the voltage follower arrangement of an operational amplifier for that discussions to be easy you have to understand this one please hope you understood this one support me with your valuable share and a subscription thank you for watching